and gentlemen, hello and welcome to our English news edition coming to you from Canal Algérie. I'm your host, Mesa Dumas, to the headlines. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, stresses the role of the Supreme Judicial Council in consolidating the independence of the judiciary and stresses the importance of creating a new form of partnership in the institutional sector with the aim of encouraging young people to invest while presiding over a cabinet meeting. President Taboon congratulates His Highness the Emir of Qatar on the occasion of his country's national day and thanks the Emir for the warm welcoming of the Algerian national football team and Algerian fans while congratulating him on the success of the holding of the FIFA Arab Cup 2021. The arrival of the national football heroes to the homeland and fans across the main streets waiting to celebrate this victory with the Warriors. today's headlines. First in our news, the President of the Republic, Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, Abdel Majid Taboon, chaired on Sunday a cabinet meeting or a meeting of the Council of Ministers. Several projects were presented for several sectors. More details with Leticia Sadqawi. <laughs> The President of the Republic, Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, Abdel Majid Taboon, chaired on Sunday a meeting of the Council of Ministers which was devoted to the examination and adoption of the draft laws relating to the sectors of justice and scientific research. A presentation on the development of agricultural production was also made. After the opening of the meeting by the President of the Republic, the Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, Ayman bin Abdurrahman, gave a presentation on the government's activity during the last weeks. At the end of this presentation, the President of the Republic gave several guidelines and instructions on First, the draft of the organic law determining the modalities of elections of the members of the High Judiciary Council, its functioning and organization. In this context, the President of the Republic welcomed the component of the High Council of the Judiciary as he considers it as one of the most important steps concerning the independence of the judiciary. The creation of a new form of companies called Simple Holding Companies. Emphasis was put on the fact that the creation of this new form of companies in the startup sector aims to encourage the youth to invest. The mobilization of financial resources for investment in these companies moving towards a positive vision to apply an efficient economic policy and freeing initiatives from constraint and cumbersome procedures. The need to promote this initiative and pave the way to project leaders to access the world of economy without constraints and without any obstacles that would limit the spirit of investment and innovation as an essential vector of development. Form a working team to revise the commercial code in order to make it adapt to the requirements of the economic reforms that the country is experiencing and ensure that it is in line with the novelties of commercial activity. Thirdly, general rules on higher education, a better organization of the university through the definition of internal organizational rules in accordance with the different university fields, taking into consideration the independence of the university within the framework of the general rules of higher education, emphasizing the need then to separate the university from all ideologies as it is a space of knowledge, innovation and development the need for changes to affect all of the university's management systems at the beginning of the year and not in the middle of the year to ensure the smooth running of university studies. Concerning the development of agricultural production and reducing food dependence, the following was presented. The implementation of an operational vision responding to the specificities of Algerian agriculture based on agricultural reality instead of academic theories. The revision of the organizational chart and the organization of farm management at the central, regional and local levels according to reformist vision taken into account priorities. The strengthening of milk production structures for better management of its production and distribution, especially at the level of large cities. 
encouraging investment in the agricultural sector according to a new vision, particularly in the southern provinces of the country, which are experiencing the availability of water resources and vast unexploited fertile land. Their vision of the experiences and roles of pilot farms to ensure added value to the sector at central, regional and local levels. The creation of a statistical mechanism based on new techniques and Algerian skills aiming to obtain accurate scientific data for prospective use. The Council of Ministers was concluded by the adoption of individual decisions appointing and terminating senior positions in the government. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, made a phone call on Sunday to his brother, His Highness, the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, during which he congratulated him and his country's National Day, wishing him and the brotherly people of Qatar all prosperity. President Taboon also thanked the Emir of Qatar for the warm welcome the Algerian national football team and the Algerian fans received in Qatar while congratulating him on the success of the holding of the FIFA Arab Cup 2021 on many terms, including preparation and organization, as well as the quality of the unique sports facilities that the state of Qatar put at the disposal of all participants. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, received on Saturday a phone call from his brother Qais Saeed, President of Tunisia. President Qais Saeed congratulated President Abdel Majid Taboon on the Algerian national team smashing victory in the FIFA Arab Cup 2021 held in Qatar. For his part, the President of the Republic thanked his Tunisian counterpart for his feelings of brotherhood and joy which he shared with both the Tunisian and Algerian football fans, stressing on the occasion that this heroic victory is the most outstanding form of cohesion and harmony existing between the two brotherly peoples. The Algerian national football team arrived on Sunday to the Huari Boumedien International Airport, where they were welcomed by Prime Minister, Minister of Finance Ayman bin Abdurrahman, and advisor to the President of the Republic, Abdul Hafid al and members of the government.
December 19th marks the second year since the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, took an oath before the Algerian people and proceeded in the reform process of several sectors. Melissa Kabash has the details. On December 19, 2019, Abdel Majid Taboon was officially elected as President of the Republic, an act that allows him to start the building of a new republic and meet the Algerian people's aspirations. In his speech delivered at the end of his swearing-in ceremony, President Abdel Majid Taboon outlined the main axes of his program. During his inauguration, the head of state insisted on the unity of all to build a new strong and well-respected republic based on the principles of our glorious November Revolution. فيها الكفاءات من الشباب مواقع القيادة والمسؤولية لتحقيق الوثبة النوعية المبتغاة على درب النهضة الشاملة Recalling its commitments made during the electoral campaign, the President of the Republic emphasized an amendment of the Constitution. The main axes were related to the limitation of the presidential mandates as renewal to only once, the reduction of the President's prerogatives, the separation of powers and the consecration of human rights as protection, individual and collective freedoms, as well as the freedom of the press and of demonstration. As for the economic sector, President Taboon had promised that the year 2022 will be that of economic recovery, reaffirming the state's will to fight relentlessly against any form of corruption through the consecration of transparency and the management of public funds. Since President Taboon's election, Algeria recorded for the first time in two decades a growth rate of 4 percent without any budget deficit. And with an aim to preserve the social aspect of the state, President Taboon instructed to exonerate 6.5 million citizens whose salaries are less than 30,000 dinars of income tax of total income and the upgrading of national minimum wage guarantee. They were crowned as the Arab football champions for the first time in their history. The Desert Warriors of Majid Bougara knew how to beat the pawn and brought the Arab Cup to its home. Inas Killu has the details. They are the Cup, which is also organized by Qatar. After leaving Algeria with the ambition to win this cup, Majid Bougara's players tasted the competition since the beginning of the tournament and in a quick succession overtook the Moroccans and thus became the favourites for the semi-finals as they excelled also on one of the tournament's favourites, the host nation Qatar, the Asian champion. The desert warriors have become the Arab football stars. And in the final, they beat the brotherly and neighboring country, Tunisia, and they became the masters of Arab football, which is a deserved success for our national team. They unanimously agreed that they were indeed the strongest and the best, and the cap today is for Algeria. Brahimi was crowned for the second best scorer and best player in the tournament. The second best player title went to Bilayli and the best goalkeeper for Raiz Mbulhi. Thank you to the players of the national team and congratulations to us. And we end our news edition with these live pictures from coming to us from Algiers. Our national football players were received as the real champions that they are. An official convoy was dedicated to them. Hundreds of thousands of men, women and children took to Algiers' main streets to welcome our players in a joyful atmosphere while chanting victory slogans. Once again, congratulations to Algeria and 1-2-3, Viva l'Algérie.